Because October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is the most commonly diagnosed cancer among American women. The American Cancer Society says one in eight women in the U.S. will develop breast cancer at some point in their life. In this year alone, nearly 300,000 women are expected to be diagnosed with breast cancer in this country. And sadly, nearly 44,000 women will die. However, that number has been dropping as detection and treatment options improve. A local artist here in Houston is honoring women battling breast cancer through her one-of-a-kind art. She uses donated lipstick from those touched by the disease to bring her pieces to life. Our Marcelino Benito spent time with her in her studio. Catherine Mason spends hours in her studio, lipstick in hand. Because sometimes I'll leave the studio and I, I smell like lipstick. Unlikely tools that help turn empty canvas into art. I'm doing this for more than just me. Her journey started in 2016 when a close friend was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. She would put lipstick on before all of her chemo treatments and her, it made her feel so much better. It made her feel more beautiful and strong and powerful. Learning that changed everything. I figured, you know, it comes in a tube, so it's kind of like a crayon and I can kind of manipulate it in those ways. And I wanted to challenge myself. She started her lipstick series to help support women who battled and are battling breast cancer. There's been lots of tears in my studio. First, focusing on the female body then florals. I hope that they see beauty in the pieces. Now her latest piece, vintage boxing gloves. Symbolize the, the battle that these people are fighting for their life. Catherine's work has touched women across the country. They send her letters with stories of breast cancer battles, triumphs, and loss. I want to show these women the respect that they deserve through my work. But it's the lipstick that comes in the mail. And those are always really special packages to receive. Belonging to those that breast cancer swept away. These lipsticks belong to women and they were in a sense a part of their life. That fuel her continued mission. I know that there are women whose spirits live on in the work. It's a network of strong, beautiful women coming together on canvas hoping money raised through Catherine's art can help one day find a cure. I don't want to just leave behind pretty pictures. I want to leave behind an impact and I, I want to do something to help other people. If you'd like to help Catherine continue this important work, you can always send her lipstick along with your loved one's story. Details on how to do that on KHOU.com. Back to you. Incredible art and a beautiful message. Marcelino, thank you.